Let us look at the construction of a concrete water tank. We first cast its base slab. Then we cast the walls in successive pours and lifts. Between two pours or two lifts, construction joints are created. Over time, it is very common for water to leak through these joints. For years, engineers have tried to stop water leakage through construction joints by using PVC water stops. This results in three major problems. First, improper compaction around the PVC water stop creates a high probability of honeycomb patterns in the concrete. Second, concrete shrinkage leads to small gaps between the PVC and concrete. And third, PVC as a material will never bond to concrete. Due to all these reasons, PVC water stops often do not help to stop water leakage. Sometimes, the PVC water stop bends during concreting, forming a tunnel. This further compounds the problem of water leakage. Dr. Fixit brings to you a highly advanced product specially designed to solve construction joint leakage problems quickly and permanently. Dr. Fixit Water Bar. After casting the base slab, you just have to lay Dr. Fixit Water Bar. Then cast the first lift. Water bar adheres firmly to the concrete. As it is a strip with a cross section of 20 mm by 20 mm, proper compaction around it is possible. Also, there is no chance for it to bend during casting. When concrete shrinks, Dr. Fixit's swellable water bar expands and fills the gap. Water entering the joint is stopped because Dr. Fixit water bar has sealed the joint quickly and permanently. Dr. Fixit water bar should be used in all construction joints, horizontal as well as vertical. For the joint between the slab and the walls, water bar should be laid on the slab. Joining two strips of Dr. Fixit water bar is very easy. Just overlap the two strips by 50 mm. Then press so that there is no air gap below the joint. After laying Dr. Fixit water bar, you may cast the first pore of the wall. To seal the vertical joint between two successive pores of a wall, water bar should be laid on the vertical surface of the wall which is already cast. It easily sticks to the wall. However, if it is difficult to stick the water bar strip, as for example in wet vertical joints, bend the water bar over slightly to the top surface and tie it to the nearest reinforcing bar. After laying Dr. Fixit water bar, you may cast the second pore of the wall. To seal the horizontal joint between two successive lifts of a wall, water bar should be laid on top of the horizontal surface of the wall which is already cast. After laying Dr. Fixit water bar, you may cast the second lift of the wall. A basement draft slab, which is cast in separate pores, can leak through the central vertical joint. To prevent this, after casting the first pore, just lay the water bar strip on the rebars against the vertical surface of the first pore. After laying Dr. Fixit water bar, you may cast the next pore of the slab. You now have a leak proof joint.
when the concrete is not cast properly then the body of the concrete itself can leak above or below the joint in such a case using doctor fix it water bar will not solve the problem water bar stops leakage only through the joint in a concrete water tank also doctor fix it water bar should be used for the joint between the slab and the walls If there are vertical joints between successive pores, they should also be sealed with water bar. Successive lifts of the wall should also be sealed using water bar. In concrete water tanks, to prevent the problem of leakage through the joint between the wall and the puddle flange, Dr. Fixit water bar is an ideal solution. The water bar strip should be placed on the surface of the puddle flange closer to the water. It should be placed on the flange in two places, around the pipe and around the outer perimeter of the flange. After this, the wall can be cast. Basements have chronic leakage problems. After constructing the footings, columns and retaining walls, the flooring is started. Soling and PCC are laid in sequence. Finally, the concrete slab is cast. Several cold joints are formed in this process. When the water level rises, water is likely to leak through these construction joints. Basement joints can be sealed very effectively using Dr. Fixit water bar before the slab is cast. Water bar should be used at the junctions of the slab with the retaining wall. It should also be used at all the junctions between the slab and the columns. After this, the concrete slab can be cast. If Dr. Fixit water bar is used as directed, all these joints get sealed permanently.